hey youtube that brady chick here actually scratch that because this is a whole new segment that i'm adding to my channel as you guys know i did post an instagram poll a few days ago and the majority of you guys voted for me to add some nursing content on top of the natural hair content that i was already doing so that's just what we're gonna do give the people what they want right that series is starting today and the reason it's starting today is because this was my first week back to school it is the summer semester as some of you guys know i'm doing the second entry bachelor of nursing program it's a joint program with a university and with a college so i think we're getting a degree and a diploma together just like my previous degree which was kinesiology just want to give you guys like a brief background about my education right now that i'm currently in but yeah the second entry program is a fast-paced program because <laughs> God knows I didn't want to do another four years of school. So this fast-paced program is the exact same content as the four-year traditional registered nursing program except that it's the four-year knowledge squished into two years. So it's still an RN program, a registered nursing program, but it is just more compressed. That's why we don't get our summers off. That's why my summer semester is from May to August. Like I don't get a regular summer off. So we only get like a few weeks off every so often during the year, but we don't get regular breaks because it's a fast paced program. Four year content squished into two years. Like you gotta work through summer in order to finish it in two years really. So that's just the reality of it. And I'm totally fine with that as long as I get to fast track, you know, cause I'm really not trying to be in school for another four years. Like that was my main concern. So now that that background is over with, Let's get right into it shall we before i put this out there i just want to put out a little bit of a disclaimer first these are all my personal experiences of placement placement started just this week by the way that's why my nails are cut off and <laughs> that is why i have no nail polish on so yeah placement started this week so i thought that this was the most appropriate time to do the video i just finished my placement like just yesterday evening and all the experiences and stuff are still fresh in my head so i thought why not just put the video out the day after i finish my placement for the week so that is today and again I just want to disclaim that these are my personal experiences, no harm to anybody. These were just my initial thoughts, my current thoughts, and my final thoughts about what had happened, which I will tell you guys in a minute. And for legal reasons, I will not disclose any names or any specific details about patients or colleagues or the registered nurses that I worked with because it's not appropriate. Those are just some disclaimers before I get started. I just wanted to put that out there before I tell you guys about my experience because it's going to be a little bit filtered because I, can't, I can't give away too much info but i'm gonna give you guys my experience of it you know what i mean but anywho let's just jump right into it dear youtube diary that brady chick here this week was my first week back to school for our summer semester and we started placement on tuesday of this week for my specific rotation so i'm doing placement right now in Oh, I don't even know if I could say what I'm doing. Yikes. Let's just say I'm working with mamas right now. Gosh, this is gonna be really hard to filter, but I have to really think about it. But yeah, I'm working with mamas right now. So that's our department at the moment. And so let me just tell you how day one went, okay? Day one, I was completely and utterly nervous. I will roll a clip right here. Hey, so today is the big day. It is my first day of placement. Mm. Here's a little 360 of my hair. Side view, back view, other side view, and front. I don't know what to expect. I'm just gonna go in there and do my best. I don't even know what time we finished today because I know we're supposed to be doing 12 hour shifts. Wish me luck. I'm really nervous again. <laughs> just wanted to document this part at least. Tuesday, May the 11th, 2021. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to show you guys my scrubs too. Nurse Brady at your command. <laughs> Bye. Me on day one. And my thoughts were just all over the place. I was just like, okay, this is our very first placement since the program started. By the way, I started in September 2020 and it is now May 2021. So we're like halfway through the first year. And by the way, I finished next year, December 2022 is when I finish. But anyways, we're halfway through the first year and we're already in placement. Hence why it's a fast paced program. So yeah, it's the first day of placement. I go into the hospital. They do the whole COVID screening thing in the beginning. Which I pass all the questions. And then they send me to an area that 
was not correct. You know, I was waiting in a really random area. Not her fault though, she probably just didn't know what I was there for, but that's fine. But yeah, I was waiting in a random area and I'm just like, okay, this seems like really vacant. Like, I just feel like I'm not in the right spot. So let me just walk around the lobby a little bit and see if I can find people that look like me, as in people who are wearing the same type of scrubs that I was wearing, AKA my classmates. So I looked around and I finally found them and I was like, oh, hey guys. Mind you, my program has been online since September, 2020. So this is pretty much like one of the first times that I got to see my classmates in person. So like we didn't really know each other, but we knew each other, you know what I mean? So yeah, we were just talking, acquainting and all that. And then our instructor comes and she gives us like a little bit of a brief introduction, asks us for our name, and then boom, we go and we get our temporary cards so that we can access certain sections of the building. Yeah, while we were picking up those temporary cards, it was <laughs> it was actually kind of funny because there were these two security guards. They looked a little younger, so of course they were like a little bit jokey and stuff when they saw us come in. And one of the things that they said <laughs> was, oh, Grey's Anatomy, eh? <laughs> I'll tell you why that's relevant later on. But anywho, we go up to the floor that the mamas are on and we pretty much get started, but not exactly. Like we didn't really get our, our feet wet on the first day. What we really did go through was just like procedures, protocols, like what to do, what not to do in the hospital, what's appropriate, what's not. And we did a bunch of modules too so that we can like familiarize ourselves with charting and everything like that which was honestly very grueling because I did a bunch of modules before starting the placement too so that was just like okay I didn't need to go through that again you know what I mean? But anywho it was fine that was day one kind of boring can't even lie but it was it was kind of exciting to be outside the house for once and not just be like attached to my computer watching these live lectures interacting with my professors through my fingers you know what I mean so it was a nice experience in that sense but yeah so that was day one kind of boring day two was a lot more interesting let me tell you why so let's start from the beginning day two now same type of process except that we started a lot earlier so we started at seven hey guys so it is day two and as you can see i'm kind of already running late but i'm in my scrubs getting ready to go I'm not trying to have my bare scrubs touch the inside of my jacket so that's why i'm wearing a hoodie over but yeah it is day two and i gotta go sorry <laughs> So yeah, I got there at 7 and I went in, I did the whole COVID screening thing as usual and then I walked to the appropriate area now because now I'm a little bit more used to it. I mean, I was there the day before so of course I know where to go now. So I go and I pick up my temporary card so that I can scan these doors and get in where I need to get in and I proceed to go upstairs. So on this particular day, we were expected to shadow the nurses that were already working there, of course. Our instructor took us over to the nurse's office or the meeting office for the rest of the nurses. And <laughs> it literally felt like the Hunger Games or something because our instructor was like, okay, so here are our nursing students from school X who here wants a student nurse to pretty much follow them around for the day. <laughs> when I tell you the room practically went silent, <laughs> You know, not only that, but like she also went up to some of the nurses and she asked them the same thing. She's like, okay, do you want to take on any of the nurses? Like, let me know. This particular nurse, <laughs> this particular nurse, again, initial impression, because I don't think this way of her anymore, but this was my initial impression, responded to her by saying, nah, man, me not want no student today. Me not want no student today. No, nah, man, me not feel too well. Me not want it basically saying that she doesn't want to take on a student. Fine, that's fine. But like the fact that she did that right in front of us is what gets me. How do you think that makes us feel? We feel like trash after that, you know what I mean? So me and my classmates, we were just like looking at each other all awkward. We we're just like, okay. I mean, we can't hope that we're here. Like it's just part of our program. We're supposed to be here and we're supposed to be shadowing you guys. You know what I mean? So like, why not take us on? And she wasn't even the only nurse that reacted that way because the other nurses, yeah, they were more subtle about it, but like you could still tell they were very, very, very reluctant. So anywho, that nurse refused all of us, but then there was another nurse that my instructor handpicked, brought over to our group, and she was like, okay, out of all these girls, which one do you want to shadow you today? Even more awkward because guess what she did? This particular nurse is of a certain culture, and she picked out the classmate that resembled her culture, basically. You don't have to be a scientist to be able to know how that made us feel, too. <laughs> like, crap. Um, when that classmate went over to her, my instructor was like, okay, and there's, you know, a few more girls standing there, so do you want anyone else? And then the nurse is like, nope, just her.
like why why are you guys like this you know what i mean like why but anywho in the end there were five of us by the way like five classmates so it was me and the four other girls basically everyone got picked slowly but surely and then there was two left right including me <laughs> basically nobody in the room wanted us like me and another minority nobody in the room wanted us it was clear notice how i said minority right so our instructor then proceeded to take us out of that department so we had to go to a completely different department because nobody wanted us again instead we went to l and d when we were at l and d our instructor kind of did the same thing so she was like hey like i have two student nurses here is anybody willing to take them on today just show them around show them the ropes this and that like they just want to be able to observe some procedures luckily I'm gonna call this nurse nurse angel because she was an angel towards us like she was pretty shy i won't lie but she was an angel i'm not gonna say her name but she was an angel the nurse angel she pretty much agreed she was like okay i'll take them on we were like oh thank you like we were actually so appreciative of it you know what i mean like i really really appreciated that because i felt like trash the whole time because i'm like damn like these people really don't want me <laughs> you know what i mean like how else do you guys expect us to learn because we're gonna be in the, in the industry very soon into the future like we finish next year i could literally start working right after grad pretty much or like very soon after grad we need that experience we need to shadow you guys so we can like be familiar so that by the time we return to you guys you don't have to train us all over again right so <laughs> anywho when we were walking with her we were just like oh my god thank you so much you know like thanking her and stuff and she wasn't really vocal towards us during that moment like she was just like hmm hmm smiling and stuff but not really responding and then my classmate was like oh my name is x by the way i was like yeah my name is jayon and the nurse was like yeah i'm not gonna remember your names and we're just like okay <laughs> no problem <laughs> so there was still a little bit of hostility going on there but regardless we appreciated her she could be hostile all she wants as long as she's taking us in <laughs> We're good. So she handed us some scrubs to put over our scrubs because we were about to see something that I was not expecting, but I'll get to that. So they had some scrubs on deck, they gave it to us, and we went into the change room and we pretty much put it over our scrubs. Don't ask why we had to go into the change room for that, but we just felt the need to. But anywho, yeah, so she's like, just wait in the office and wait for the queue to go, basically. So we're like, okay, no problem. We're waiting, we're waiting. And then there's another nurse that pretty much motions us over so that we can follow her. So we follow that other nurse. This is nurse A+. plus. We have our scrubs on and everything like that. And we're taken into this really, really bright room. It was really, really clean. It looked 100% sterile. Of course, there was a patient sitting on the bed and they were given a huge, huge, huge needle into their back. The patient screamed out as she should because the needle's huge, but I'm pretty sure you can imagine what was being injected into her back. It's invasive, but it, it's not exactly dangerous as long as you don't move. Pretty much from there, the procedure started. Like they caped her with something that like covered her face, but you can only see the belly. She was pregnant, by the way. Sorry, I'm just wondering what I can say and what I can't say. Basically, my friend and I, the other minority who didn't get chosen by anybody in the previous department, we had our little notebooks out and we were just like, oh my god, what's going on? What's going on? Literally right there, I felt like Meredith Grey. Can't even lie to you. I felt like Meredith Grey because I was just so fascinated by what was happening. You know, they started like cutting a little bit around the bottom part of the belly and then they started like lifting her skin up and I was just like, oh my god, what are they doing? What do they do? Like that's at that point I just got out my notebook and I was like, oh my god, oh my I was looking over at my classmate, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> like I was just so fascinated, you know? All in all, I didn't know what kind of surgery they were doing because it wasn't really vocalized to us. We kind of just heard it in passing, but they didn't use the generic term for the surgery. It was kinda like I guess more of a medical term, like you would only know if they told you. They were doing that surgery and I thought it was for something completely different until i saw a baby's head okay maybe i'm slow maybe i'm slow because maybe you guys have already guessed what it was what kind of surgery it was but um i didn't even know until i saw the baby's head so anywho um i'm seeing like this baby doll looking head and i'm just like whoa whoa 
Whoa, what is going on? I pull out this vacuum thing. It didn't look like a traditional vacuum that we would use in the house or whatever. The suction was pretty great because that vacuum sucked that baby right out, safely obviously, and there you had it, a beautiful little newborn baby. I hope I can tell you guys that much. I have to do some research after this video. And I was like, oh my gosh. It's only my second day of placement and I witnessed a C-section. That was crazy for me and for my classmate too. We kind of just looked at each other like, like we had our masks on so we couldn't really see our expression, but we were like, <laughs> that was a very fruitful experience. What was the cherry on top was when they put the newborn baby into the crib equivalent that they had and they're like, okay, daddy, come on, go look at your baby. The dad had his little camera and he was like taking pictures and stuff and I was like, mm, so sweet, so, so, so sweet. Uh, and then he started cradling the baby after that and just the way he held his child, it was just so touching. Like I just felt really, not really emotional, but I, I felt like, you know, a little bit of tear jerking and stuff, you know what I mean? But I tried to keep my composure, you know, cause I'm not, not trying to show that on the first day basically, or the second day rather. Very, very, very interesting process to observe. You would think that people would faint at the sight of that much blood. To see the insides and everything like that and all the thick tissue and the ligaments and all, you would think someone would pass out and lose their appetite on top of that. For some reason, I was fascinated. Like I wouldn't mind if the surgery lasted five hours as long as I get to look, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like maybe I'm just meant for the surgical room. I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, definitely felt like Meredith Grey in that moment. That was really cool. And it's funny because my classmate leaned over to me and she's like, this is pretty cool for two people who were rejected from the previous department. I was like, that part, that part. Okay, I didn't actually say it like that because I'm trying to keep my composure, but I was like, yes, exactly. You know what I mean? But that part, that part, because none of the people in the previous department wanted us. But when we got to the other department, they took us right on and we got to have the most fruitful experience out of the rest of our classmates. Based on what our classmates said, I'm not trying to like put them down or anything, but like based on what they said, their experience was just not the same as what we got to experience. You know what I mean? Because they just did vitals, like heart rate, blood pressure. But for us, we got to view surgeries, epidurals, another type of delivery, but obviously it wasn't a C-section. It was a natural vagine delivery okay so by the way we use anatomical terms over here okay so if it makes you uncomfortable you can get out <laughs> I'm kidding that one was interesting as well i've never viewed any type of delivery before obviously i've had relatives who were pregnant but i just never got to witness them giving birth like in the hospital room before so this was definitely new to me but yeah so the vagine delivery so back to that this mama in particular was very calm like i've never seen such a calm pregnant lady again i haven't seen it in person before but on tv they're always like sweating and agitated hyper as they should as they should yeah no this mom really really surprised me like she was a warrior i don't even know how much i can stress that more like she she can handle anything <laughs> okay if she was able to get through a process like that while remaining calm that's a dangerous woman that is a dangerous woman pushing 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 and we're observing we're trying to cheer her on we're like yeah you could do it because i think our purpose was that we wanted the baby's head to crown first and then from there on we would assist the rest of the the delivery or they would rather we didn't really participate in it physically but verbally we did we brought the supplies that they needed and stuff because again it's just our second day we can't really do much but we were observing a lot <laughs> like whew. this beautiful baby came out like a slippery slope <laughs> let me just say it that way because it was slippery but yeah like i didn't expect to see that much liquid if I could say so. I'll just leave that part at that because I don't want to get in trouble. When that baby boy came out, he was just obviously very adorable, but there was a moment when he didn't cry and like, well, that was obviously the first moment of his delivery when he didn't cry. So we were kind of like, oh, the mother was kind of like, oh, he's not crying. She's like, oh, just give him a minute. He'll get there. You know, and we did give him a minute and he finally did start crying. The nurse described it. She's like, yeah, you know, he was probably just in shock or whatever because, you know, he was cooped up in the uterus so long and then he finally got to escape so yeah it's gonna sometimes it takes them a moment to cry they did all they had to do with the baby and then with the mom and they sewed her up because <laughs> uh, just like a zipper it tore, tore open a little bit but anywho that part was a little hard to watch because it's like i watched it and i felt her pain at the same time you know because that's a very sensitive area we all know it 
it's no joke it's no surprise yeah even though she was sedated it's like she could still feel a little bit of the stinging from the sewing and i just i kept clenching my fist i was like Ugh. oh my god i feel her pain i feel her pain i feel her pain so much like even thinking about it now i'm just like getting so squirmy because it just it looked like it was pain painful but again she was sedated so she didn't feel all of it but she did feel a little bit of sensation that was a really interesting process too and she handled that like a warrior i'm actually so proud of her i don't know the woman but i'm very proud of her and congratulations to her and her husband and to the c-section as well congratulations to her and her husband sorry i'm saying the c-section because i don't want to name the patients but yeah like congratulations to both families y'all did your thing you know what I mean? Y'all were good. And yeah, that was pretty much my experience. So when we recouped with the rest of our group, we pretty much just discussed some of our experiences just in vague details so that we didn't like uh, breach anything in terms of privacy. And yeah, all in all, based on the experiences that were vocalized, it seems like me and my minority partner, who none of the nurses from the previous department wanted, ended up having the best experience at the end of the day. So it just goes to show, <laughs> you might be the short stick, or you might be the short straw, but you also might get the best opportunity? I don't know. Damn, I was trying to be a little bit poetic there. Didn't work though. Didn't work. Huh. Wow. Anyway, so that was pretty much my experience in terms of the observation and the educational aspect of it. Great experience, by the way, for somebody who literally just got their feet wet. But yeah, in terms of personal experiences and like my personal take on the whole refusing of students and stuff, I just feel like, why? Not, e not even just for the healthcare industry, but for the whole restaurant industry too because i noticed that's kind of a thing in in restaurants as well like even the previous restaurant that i used to work at um and by the way i worked at more than one so i'm not going to say which one it was but anywho so the co-workers there they were just not really nice to me in the beginning i mean maybe it's a little bit of my fault <laughs> maybe it was kind of my fault still because when i start out at workplaces i notice that i don't necessarily try to prioritize socializing too much i really just try to give most of that priority to learning the job and doing it properly because at the end of the day if i'm prioritizing socializing over that then i'm not going to know the job and people are going to get upset with me as they should you know so that's why like when i first go in i just focus on doing the job and doing it right and then once i get that right that's when I can shift over to socializing and actually like making friends and and letting people know who I truly am You know what I mean? Because sometimes I deliberately close off Sometimes it's deliberate. Sometimes it's not but anywho Sometimes I close off and I go into my little bubble because I'm just trying to focus on what's most important But it can come off as me being standoffish and like I'm a little bit rude and stuff like that, but honestly Trust me. It's not what I'm trying to do It's just not even like that <laughs> But anywho, yeah, I think that needs to stop because <laughs> when I become a nurse, 110%, when I get um, comfortable with the tasks, that is, I'm definitely, definitely, definitely going to take on students. If, like, if there are students there and they need to learn, why not let them observe? Like, they stay out of your way. All they're doing is taking notes. They'll ask you a few questions because they're not trying to distract you from the process at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's no bother to take them in. Like, I just don't get the notion with that. I don't get the logic behind that, you know? Because one day when they join your department, you're going to expect them to know everything. But how can you expect them to know everything when you teach them nothing? Or when you're not willing to teach them anything, you know? So you have to think about it in a future tense because these same people are going to enter the healthcare industry and you're definitely going to contribute to their experience whether you like it or not you are a big part of their experience because for example nurse angel i will never forget you i will never forget you as shy as you are <laughs> i will never forget you you might not remember me you probably forgot me already i will never forget you because you actually took us in and you were willing to allow us to observe i can tell you came from a perspective of being aware that you were there at one point too you know you were aware that you were once a student too and you wanted to learn as much as we did 
you know so i can i really appreciate the fact that you at least saw it from our point of view and you didn't just brush us off like 90 percent of the nurses did that day i really appreciate you for that honestly I'm nurse a plus i wasn't sure about you in the beginning but i liked you after i really did <laughs> nurse a plus was part of the c-section portion by the way but yeah she was very nice too she was willing to answer our questions um she was very like light and cheerful like she she was nice like i i liked her i really did some of her co-workers i i didn't really get a good impression of i really didn't but i feel like with time if i were to work with them in the future we could definitely bond like i could see myself bonding with people like that you know what i mean because i kind of have that uh personality too at times like i can be pretty monotone at times but i can also be pretty bubbly at times but um yeah I just, I saw a lot of my, one of my previous workplaces in that group of nurses there because um, they were just very like catty a little bit. Maybe they were playing, I think they were just playing, but like they were pretty catty. Like I just, I didn't really realize that like nurses could be that way too, you know what I mean? And especially the whole refusal of students thing, I didn't realize that was a thing in the healthcare department. I thought you guys wanted us to learn and stuff, but like... It's like, you guys just don't really care to do it, some of you. Not all of you, but some. Um, and I think that needs to change, 100%. Like, how do you expect us to go out there and be comfortable when you're not even, like, creating that stepping stone for us? Just have us observe you. That's all. But yeah, like I said, if that experience taught me anything, it definitely taught me that when I become a an RN, I'm definitely going to take on students if they need me to. 100%. I'll even take on four of them. Unless it'll get in the patient's way, then I'll take on two at most. I see things from the perspective of I was once there. So I'm going to create a better and more positive experience for these people. Because soon they will be in my position and hopefully they will carry on those same traits. And that's the same thing that I applied for one of my previous restaurant jobs. Because I was once new and I was severely uncomfortable because people made it obvious that they didn't like me at the time but it's like when i did get comfortable and i started making friends and stuff that's when i started to intentionally create a better experience for new people that came in when these new people came in and my managers told me to train them i was like 100 percent let's go i made friends with all of those new people by the way and I hope I created a positive experience for them. It seemed like I did because they did gravitate towards me. But it's because I welcomed them into an atmosphere that was, so to speak, a little bit toxic. You know what I mean? Like, it wasn't really a nice atmosphere in terms of the way the coworkers treated you, especially if you were new. I just wanted to change that dynamic real quick. I just wanted to change it. Because there's absolutely no reason why you need to be rude to a new person. How do you expect them to know anything if you don't teach them? That goes for restaurant industries and it goes for healthcare industries. How do you expect them to know if you don't teach them? They've never been there before, so how could they know? How could they know? That's where I don't understand where the logic's coming from. So anyway, yeah, that was my experience at placement. Sorry that I kind of went off on a tangent there, but like honestly that whole refusal of students thing just reminded me of one of my previous workplaces because they kind of refused to train new people there too. Yeah, so that was my first diary entry of my experience as a nursing student. Um, quite an interesting week. I, I would say it was really fruitful. Sorry that I couldn't give you guys all the details. Um, there were more specifics, but again, not trying to breach anybody's privacy. So we're keeping that where we're keeping that. Just keep it in the hospital. Whatever happens in the hospital stays in the hospital, but my experiences are my experiences. And that is something that I do have a right to vocalize, but I'm going to filter it. Thanks again for watching. And always remember, natural hair grows. Don't you forget it. Bye. Ouch. Oh, yeah. I also forgot to mention, like, for those of you who have asked me about my twist outs and stuff and how I achieve them, just remember that the trick is not only to apply the products, but you have to leave. You have to twist up your hair, first of all, and leave it in those twists for at least two days minimum to be honest when i'm in school i can leave my hair like this for as long as i need to maybe not too long because it does get frizzy and then i'll have to wash it again and stuff like that but i leave it for as long as possible because i get very very busy and i just don't have time for my hair so yeah that's how i achieve my twist outs in short but yeah so if you feel like those products aren't working for you maybe try wearing your twists longer that might just be the solution 
I don't know, trial and error. Oh, 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 the pretty good.